Hey, what's up guys? It's John from John Goes Off Road with another episode of Rig Talk. And today what we're gonna be going over is my 42 inch Plano gun box where I pretty much store some tools and recovery gear. And uh, today I kinda just wanna show you guys what kinda goes on, what I really have inside, how does it work, how did I mount it, and things like that. Um, so today, this is really a kind of a little walk around video in regards to that. Um, sorry, that lighting is kind of getting a little weird. I'm doing the best I can with my iPhone. But um, again, 42 inch Plano gun box that has pretty much held it down up here on top of the Prinzu, which was super easy to install. Um, six bolts is what I have inside. And when looking at it, each bolt kind of lines up with a rail and then pretty much just gets secured by a T carriage bolt that ultimately pretty much holds everything down. Now when kind of opening it, it's a very sturdy box. I can't lie about it. Um, it's really, really rugged, which I really dig. I've always been a big fan of rugged stuff. And in this case, this Plano case has been just it. So when kind of going over what I have inside, um, I have pretty much tools, guys. So not really th anything crazy or fancy. I have a breaker bar, a hammer. I have a couple sockets. I have wrenches and things like that that I just kind of carry inside and ultimately just be able to kind of, if in any case, be in a crappy situation, I can get stuff out and pretty much be mobile. Now, this is something I didn't unfortunately want to keep inside the truck just because things start getting a little crammed. And then also uh, you just start running out of space. So I did see these on a couple guys' rigs and then ultimately, you know, really just kind of started picking my head saying, hey, how did it these guys get it to that route and uh, how did they do it and stuff. So unfortunately this isn't really an install video or anything like that, but tape measure is what I used, I believe. Um, I you also used, uh, like I said, a couple carriage bolts um, to slide inside the Prinzu itself, which if you have a Prinzu, very, very easy. Um, if you look right over here, I have this uh, kind of like opening, um, which most Prinzus do, to be honest with you. You slide in your little carriage bolt inside and then you kind of just slide it in, put it, mount it, and then it goes through. So yes, you do actually have to drill a couple holes inside of that case. Now this case is waterproof. Um, which it has been in the rain, it's been through dirt, um, I've slammed it in mud and you know with mud flying everywhere, I've had to clean that thing, I've washed it multiple times and it's never been wet. I've checked every time just kind of being a little scared. I was like, man, is this thing getting wet? But no, it's not, So, which is really cool. I really like products like that and for the most part, it's just held up really well. So. It's not noisy, it's not really um, flopping everywhere as long as you bolt it down right. And uh, that's been a big thing about this whole uh, case. So I know there's a bunch of cases out there, Plano, um, Pelican, and a bunch of other case brands where people can just purchase the same case ultimately, but you know, at different prices. So big thing about Plano, I would had heard good things, but biggest thing, of course, like always, the price um, can't really believe how much these are um, when Pelican selling them at like 180 or 150 don't quote me on it, it could be a lot different but for the same almost the same quality um, although the planos do look a little bit cooler because they look a little more rugged Plano has the same almost the look um, and they're pretty much doing the same thing so waterproof um, nothing jingles in the top of over there so everything's pretty sturdy and stable and a lot of these um, come with foam uh, that you can actually cut out to the shape that you need for the object you want to put inside so um, if you take a quick peek sorry it's a little tight in my garage but uh, when you take a peek inside here um, you can actually see that I've made just like big boxes um, for, you know, uh, the sockets and then also the wrenches and then little thinner boxes for my breaker bar and things like that. So that kind of helps me out with that. And if you just take a look, it's pretty simple, super clean, uh, nothing kind of different about it. Um, just really kind of rugged 
and you know pretty much well built now a good thing about this guy is which i was kind of scared of because you know you have you know some valuable tools up there depending on what you put inside of it and you don't want to lose them uh so what's cool about this guy is is that they actually have a um kind of a locking system so you pretty much easy so it's kind of a clamp system you clamp it here go down oops sorry i missed it so you clamp it there go down make sure it secures itself boom you put in the key turn it you're locked you're good you can actually put also extra security which was also pretty whoa pretty cool sorry about that guys which was pretty cool um where you can actually slide in a lock if you guys take a quick look there's a small little hole right here that can actually fit like a little you know kind of school locker kind of lock and then you can put it right through there have another key for extra security depending if you have guns or if you actually have tools in there i just have tools and it's pretty much just um sorry to say harbor freight tools um and it's not too bad so if i lost them or someone really just decided to pick that lock because they really wanted to get inside that case they're not really going to get much it was probably like 40 bucks in total in tools so uh not too much of a loss or anything like that so i can't complain if they did take it but um again just going back to the sturdiness um i really dig it so i'm kind of hanging on here guys so sorry if i'm a little jolty or moving around but if you look right there i'm kind of moving it and so is the whole truck so that's mounted on really really well really really strong um so i cannot complain at all in regards to how this guy works what it's doing for me and things like that and you know and overall kind of gives you also a rugged look on the truck itself so in just a few moments i'll show you guys a couple shots kind of just showing how the truck looks with that um, box on top that way you guys can see like oh okay that looks pretty cool or maybe that's not for me but it's also something you can pretty much carry in the back of your truck um aside from tools of course they're a great gun box you know what i mean so uh you can't really complain on that side and you know it's an overall great case i can't complain um super easy to purchase on amazon um or i'm mean, guessing through their site uh, you know should be easy as well i actually purchased it myself from Amazon and they actually were running a sale at that time where they had it for 40 bucks you can't beat that guys so 40 bucks you get a gun case it's super waterproof it's got the foam inside so it's not you know noisy or anything like that and it's just really rugged like I said and I keep saying because it just looks really well and looks great so I cannot complain at all and thank you guys so so much for taking the time out for watching my video again if you're not following I'm on Instagram for, uh, under John goes off-road and then uh, subscribe follow uh, whatever YouTube does uh, you guys can subscribe follow comment um, drop anything that if you see my truck on Instagram and want me to review I'm trying to get and pump out these videos as much as I can so if you see something that you like and you want me to review it let me know please in the comments down below because I like doing this I'm having fun while doing it so not a problem for me to just get out to my truck as long as I have the time and can just review it um, maybe might do a Prinzer review here in the in the future this thing's super sturdy as well um, super rugged and aerodynamic so maybe something that's coming in the future here um, after installing it and how it does and what it does and things like that for me so stay tuned guys here comes a couple clips on how this looks on top of my truck 